Again, my name is Robert Stevens. I am currently an IT project manager at uh, the Bank of America. I teach banking on the future to mentors and mente uh, mentors and mentees across the country. And uh, this is a passion for me where African-Americans, uh, particularly young black men, are literate in finances. And a lot of times they are, are the ones, we, we are probably spending more money uh, than, than we're saving and, 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 and uh, things of the like. Uh, we become great athletes and, and things of that nature. And but what are we doing with it? Uh, so one thing that I wanted to talk about in the, in the time that I have was just talk about saving the money and show, show me the money as far as saving it and, and reaching those goals and saving some of the money that you, that you uh, take in. So what I wanted to present this morning was what, what are some of your goals? How do you complete those goals? You don't have to answer these questions now. These are things that I want you to be thinking about. Um, how, do you, how do you complete those goals? Uh, how much money must you save in total for that goal? What are you doing monthly to save for that goal? What steps are you taking right now to save for your goals? And what wants can you cut back on to reach those goals? So these are just things I want you to think about while we're talking, talking through um, the presentation and the time that I have. Uh, a lot of times they, they say that kids don't have money and, and things of that nature. They're, they're right now, all of, the, all of the sources or resources where the parents' money is going. You've got to think about uh, our, our parents today are definitely making more money than our forefathers and our parents made. So what's happening in that money? Our kids are sucking it up, but what are our kids doing with it? So in that, in that breath, I want you to think about what you're doing with the money that you're getting and how you're utilizing those funds. Uh, as far as your question, um, yeah. I can say that the way to make money is to save money. Right. Well. Absolutely. Yeah, and so any of the, any of the ment mentees on the phone, tell me what you're doing right now with birthday gifts, graduation gifts, uh, uh, um, any, anything that you receive money from, tell me what you're doing with it. And a lot of times when, when preparing for this, I was thinking, uh, you know, there's, there, I'm a young adult, I don't have a job, I can't go make money. You absolutely can. Right now is an excellent opportunity for you to uh, help deliver groceries for your elderly neighbor. You put the groceries on the front steps, they'll give you a couple of dollars for it, believe it or not. Uh, if your parents are helping your neighbors out, you deliver those groceries, you may receive some funds for it. So there's always opportunities for you to be able to get income, even though you think you're too young to have a job. So I'll, I'll, I'll pause for a second and let everyone queue up or uh, tell me what you're doing right now with any of the funds that you're receiving. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're doing to be able to save some of those funds. Uh, I'll go first, I guess. Uh, this past uh, summer, I want to believe, before the ep so epidemic, so uh, when I was making money during my summer job, uh, I would save, I like, I save. Uh, a majority of that money I spent um, that money on uh, one thing and that was it and uh, as of now uh, I'm saving that money for uh, college and for a car and do you have a certain amount that you're saving for college or a certain amount that you're saving for for the car for right now, everything in that uh, in that same uh, savings account, uh, I'm still working with my parents to uh, um, separate that. But gotcha. as of now, they're both in that same checking account. We can separate that whenever we can. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, good. That's good, Jonathan. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um. This is Hunter going. And as far as saving money. Uh, since I was a little kid, my, my parents have always told me um, to make sure you save at least 75% of what, percent of what you get. Uh, so every time, I, um, for, as far as birthday parties and things of that sort, I always try to make sure I save at least 75% of what I get in my bank account. 
Right. Is, is anybody spending money in it, spending uh, on their wants instead of saving for their goals? A lot of times you do impulse buying, especially men, we do impulse buying because we've got to have that big screen television, for example, and women are more frugal. They are shoppers. They are, they take their time to look for that bargain, but men are impulse buyers. Is anybody spending money on wants as opposed to saving for their goal? A lot of times those new sneakers, uh, that new iPhone. Uh, I do uh, sometimes, but most of those uh, wants are like this because uh, I don't want to elaborate on that, but like uh, most of those <laughs> things are crucial because <laughs> because uh, some of those things I don't necessarily have because they're either like, broken or worn out, so I have to get a new thing. And also uh, travel a lot, so okay. it's either that, just that, or the other. But yeah. most of it goes to saving. Good. Good. And you don't have to spend it all. That's the, that's the idea about it. If you, if you are still uh, uh, earning whatever you're earning through the birthday cards, through the Christmas cards, through whatever, and if you don't have a job, um, the idea is just to save some portion of it. Your, your future right. depends on you saving. You earn, you save. You earn, you save. That's, what, that's the idea that I want you to take away with uh, here. Again, even if you make um, five dollars for doing something put a dollar of it away put a dollar in the coin jar put something away and in one year's time I guarantee you that you'll be surprised in what happens in that when you you don't go back and you don't get in it get any of it out or take any of it out you'll be surprised in one year's time what that looks like what what, what you'll see and don't take it all out at one time in a lump sum you say mom or dad uh, I've been saving my Christmas and birthday cards money uh, in one year, I want to see what it looks like. And then now you've got three or $400. Don't take it all out and spend it at one time on those wants. Keep it and still continue to think about your future and your saving. Uh, any more uh, people spending money on, on things that, um, on those wants as opposed to those, those, um, those saving goals? That's what you should always keep in mind. Anybody else want to elaborate? Um, yeah, um, good morning. This is Malachi. Sometimes, I mean, all for my birthdays, I collect a lot. So on that portion, I spent like three, I put three, four, three fourths in it in the bank. And then I spend the rest on like shoes or like something. But now I'm trying to save it up to give me a car. And then after that, I'm gonna start working. And then I'm gonna save up more to like, help me to get into college. Good. Good. Good, there you go. And, and you don't have to go into debt to pay for college. There are scholarships that are out there and we, there was, that's another whole uh, um, uh, topic that we can go down that road. Um, freescholarships.com is exactly what it says it is. Freescholarships.com. You go in and put a little bit of information in about yourself, what you plan to major in. They're giving, they're giving scholarships away for kids that are left-handed, that play golf that play volleyball. So there, there are resources that are out there definitely more than what we had back in, in when we were going to school, but they're giving money away. And they're per particularly gonna give, be giving more away in times where they want people to now come back to schools and to uh, continue their education because you now can go online and do anything that you wanna do, earn your master, I mean, your undergraduates, your masters, in some cases, even doctorate degrees. So scholarships that are out there, freescholarships.com is just a great way to do it. So in recapping and, and some of the takeaways I want you to, to know about, set small achievable goals. Again, with if you're making $5 with something, taking groceries or doing whatever, or a bigger thing where you're, you actually are any income from a job, uh, uh, take a dollar from that, take $2 from that, and develop a sensible spending and saving habit. Don't spend it all. You don't have to do that. And one um, main thing, a simple rule, a, just a sample that I go by, is you, you manage your money, spend for your needs, and, and your wants. Your wants sometimes, you don't have to you know, blow your whole paycheck on your wants, but certainly your needs, your food, your shelter, your water. Save 10% and give 10%. Believe it or not, it'll come back for you tenfold. 
So that's all I've got, Dr. Torrance, and I can turn it over to Dr. Tormel and or open it up for Q&A if, if it's time for that now.